there is a fundamental law in the universe which states that nothing stays permanent forever in other words change is the only constant the same rule applies for rocks as well no rock on the earth remains as it is forever in this video we shall talk about the rock cycle and the associated rock cycle diagram so let's begin Before we learn about the rock cycle and the rock cycle diagram, we must know the basic rock types. All rocks are categorized into three main types, namely igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic rocks. Then there is a fourth category as well called the re-metamorphosed rocks, which are formed by the metamorphosis of the metamorphic rocks. So we'll start with the various rock types. The first rock type are igneous rocks, also known as primary rocks. They are formed by the cooling, solidification, and crystallization of molten earth materials known as magma and lava. The difference between magma and lava is that when the molten earth material is beneath the surface of the earth, it is called magma. When the same molten material comes out on the surface of the earth through fissures and volcanic eruptions, it is called lava. The igneous rocks are further categorized into two types. which are intrusive and extrusive igneous rocks some examples of igneous rocks are basalt gabbro obsidian pumice etc then we come to the second types of rocks that is the sedimentary rocks the rocks formed from material derived from pre-existing rocks and from organic sources by the processes of denudation are called sedimentary rocks examples of sedimentary rocks can be shale limestone chalk coal sandstone conglomerate etc then there is a third category of rocks which is called the metamorphic rocks the rocks formed by the changes in the texture mineral composition and structure of the pre existing rocks through the action of temperature and pressure are called metamorphic rocks some examples of metamorphic rocks are gneiss marble quartzite anthracite slate etc for the details of all these types of rocks please go through our blog by the name rock cycle diagram whose link has been provided in the description so with this backdrop in mind let us discuss the rock cycle and the rock cycle diagram rock cycle is the process through which igneous sedimentary and metamorphic rocks undergo transformation one important thing must be kept in mind that rock undergo transformation in geological times and not in human times that is to say in thousands and even billions of years the rock cycle diagram on the other hand represents all the processes of rock transformation in a single diagram the processes involved in rock cycle are melting solidification upliftment weathering erosion and transportation deposition and sedimentation burial and compaction etc so let us see how these transformational processes actually work rocks are always in the process of transformation weathering and erosion of igneous rocks lead to the formation of sedimentary rocks and both igneous and sedimentary rocks are transformed into metamorphosed rocks again metamorphosed rocks can melt under high temperature to become igneous rocks and the cycle goes on let it, let us understand this cycle in a little detail we'll start with the transformation of igneous rocks when sedimentary or metamorphic rocks are pushed deep under the earth's surface by the action of plate boundary interactions that result in subduction they may melt into magma when such conditions are created that the molten magma can no longer remain in a molten state then it cools and solidifies into an igneous rock those rocks that cool and solidify within the earth's crust are called intrusive igneous rocks these rocks are further divided into plutonic and hypabyssal rocks the cooling processes of these rocks is very slow and gradual because of this these rocks are coarse grained in texture for example granite you must have seen those 
little grains on the granite rocks in a similar way when the magma is forced out of the earth's surface by the forces of nature due to volcanic activity it cools rapidly by the action of atmospheric temperature and pressure and cools fast due to this many times fine grained rocks are formed on the surface for example basalt in some cases there are no crystals which give rocks a glassy appearance the best example of this is the obsidian rock such rock come in the category of extrusive igneous rocks now we come to the next type of transformation that is transformation to sedimentary rocks during the mountain building activity metamorphic and igneous rocks get exposed to processes of weathering and erosion eventually they undergo sedimentation these sediments when compressed due to pressure from mountains or otherwise get converted into rocks such as breccia conglomerate sandstone siltstone and shale silification serpentization uralitization epidotizations are some of the processes that are instrumental in the creation of sedimentary rocks then we come to the next type of transformation that is transformation into a metamorphic rock exposure of high temperature and pressure changes the structure composition and texture of rocks such rocks are called metamorphic rocks for example quartzite schist marble slate and gneiss pre existing rocks can be igneous or sedimentary rocks or the metamorphic rock itself even a pre existing metamorphic rock can get remetamorphosed and form a new type of rock mountain building activities are instrumental in creating regional metamorphism when mount metamorphic rocks itself undergoes change by the action of high temperature and pressure then it is called a remetamorphosed rock in this way the rock cycle becomes complete and the process goes on forever do read our blog on rock cycle diagram for a better understanding and deeper insights into how the rock cycle diagram actually works if this video helped in understanding the rock cycle then please give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more such videos in future please hit the subscribe button this way you can get a notification and any time such content and if there are any other video topics that you want to see me cover in future leave a comment down below i'll add it to my list of videos to be covered in future thanks a lot for tuning in i'll see you next time bye bye